Hi there, I'm Stefan, one of the founders of Repito. I will guide you doing the first steps with our test automation tool, Repito Studio. Repito Studio is a regression testing tool, so let's start with that. Regression testing is needed to make sure that all existing features of an application are working, even if new features are added by the developers. So, and how does Repito make sure that those features are still working? The basic process is very simple. You show Repito once how to interact with your app and what is expected to happen. Repito will record all your interactions and then, weeks later, when a new release is ready, Repito can replay the interactions and make sure that everything is still working. Sounds easy, right? And for most of the automations, it really is. Let me show you how to record a simple test automation. So this is how Repito Studio looks like when you start it the first time. Right now it shows the test designer module, that's what I'm gonna explain first, but just to give you a quick idea of how the process looks like. So first there's the test designer that allows you to create tests, and after you've created the test you can save it to the library. The library module then allows you to assign tests to so-called test batches. As soon as you have your first test batch ready, you can run it in the batch runner either immediately or at certain points of time using the scheduler. But let's start with the test designer. I'm going to explain a couple of user interface elements here. First of all here there is the so-called device mirror. It just mirrors the mobile device that's currently connected to Repito. You can just interact with your mobile phone by clicking here, um, just like you might know it from a remote desktop application. Then down here you got some device buttons. Um, you can install an app to your device or take a screenshot of your device screen. Then down here you can select the device you want to connect to. Right now you can see that I have two cloud devices available and a local Android emulator. You can also add cloud devices here. If you want to connect to a local emulator or simulator on iOS, you just need to start them. For connecting to Android devices, you just need to enable USB debugging and plug your phone. For iOS hardware devices, it's needed to install a connector inside of your application. So, and now let's create our first test. I click here, and as soon as the recording is active, Repito will not just forward your interactions to the device, but it also gonna record steps in this area here. So I click, I will do a simple login. So up to that point we told Repito what to do. And now we still need to tell Repito what is expected after those actions are executed. So we click the plus icon and we say check content. And now I can, by clicking here, select a certain element to show Repito what to look for. And to the right I can constrain the search region. So I can say please check the upper part of the screen. It's also possible to override the default timeout. By default, it's around 10 seconds, but I could also tell Repito to look for 20 seconds. Now, before saving the test to the library, I want to make sure that it's actually working. In order to do that, I stop the recording and then click here to run all steps. You can see Repito is restarting the app and then entering the login information before checking for the posts label up here. Since that all looks good, I'm gonna save the test to the library now. So this is how you can quickly create the test. Please be aware that we only scratch the surface of what's possible with Repito. There are a ton of features hidden inside of this menu here. You can import steps or whole tests from your library, execute command line scripts or use our powerful JavaScript API to do things like loops, resetting backend data via API call or reading test data from external files. It's even possible to switch between different devices within a single test automation. So I hope you got a good first impression of Repito Studio and feel motivated to try it out yourself. I wish you a nice day and a delightful testing experience.